has to beat Hayden Young. Hayden Young has, doesn't have to beat him. But number two, Crazy K was in a hellacious match with Dexter Poindexter. He certainly was. As referee, Errol James displays the NWA television championship of the world. Crazy K would certainly love to add that world's TV title to his resume. It is a championship that Hayden Young definitely wants to hold on to, a championship that he won at Hardcore Hell 2006 when he ended the second reign of the feature presentation, Jeff Lewis. Well, the attraction Hayden Young, I mean, I had to give him credit. I don't like the guy. Personally, I think he's a moron, but he has been a defending champion. The man has come out here and he has done what the world television champion is supposed to do, and that's defend that television title night in and night out. And he's done a good job of it. However, he's going up there against another guy who shares his same philosophy. This whole sportsmanship. Let's shake hands and be friends. Might as well just punt, hug, roast marshmallows, and sing Kumbaya. I don't think you're going to see any of that in this contest. The world's television title is on the line. Handshake between the champion and challenger for what should be an absolutely incredible contest. And Crazy K sort of letting his intentions known to the reigning world's television champion. He intends to leave with that title. Well, these two have been embracing a handshake here for the last few minutes. I mean, I don't know if they're holding hands or what they're doing, but I mean, you know, why don't they just skip to my loop? All right, now, a little intimidation. Maybe trying to, uh, trying to get into the other one's head. All oh, right, hand, gets the job done pretty well as they stand and they trade right hands back and forth. They fire away the world's television champion and the challenger, double X handle as Crazy K takes the advantage. Has him against the far corner, the far side of the ring. Excuse me, sends him into the near side. Just the clothesline, does the key. And a big shoulder tackle. The clothesline takes down the challenger. Drop kick. And Hayden Young, the world's television champion. Hayden Young has the most energy in this match of the two men. Hayden Young just displayed that by taking it to Crazy K. Now, Crazy K is doing the right thing, staying outside the ring, slowing down the tempo of the match. This way has helped him rest more than what he had in the time between the two matches. And number two, could be throwing Hayden Young off his game plan, which, I mean, a man of Hayden Young's intelligence isn't hard to throw him off of anything. Hayden Young would not be the world's television champion if he didn't know how to win a match. As it stands right now, it seems like he is content to let Crazy K dictate the pace thus far. We've seen Hayden Young almost grow into the role of champion. He chased that title for so long, you could argue he had the challenger's mentality even though he was defending the title. Well, the chase of the title is not the only thing he chased. He used to chase his tail around and chase park cars, but that's neither here nor there. Tonight, he's up there against an unknown opponent in Crazy K. Well, he certainly had plenty of time to look at Crazy K. But a limited look, Greg Hunter. I mean, like I said, I mean, you only get so much look and only so much knowledge out of video your tape. It's not that you actually get there and do when you actually work. Right now, Crazy K continuing to keep the pace slow. He has the side headlock applied to the world's television champion. Trying to buy as much time to breathe and rest as possible. There were only two contests between him defeating Dexter Poindexter to get this shot in this particular contest. Right now, Hayden Young, I would think he would keep the pace fast, even though one would argue that that plays Crazy K's strength. Crazy K went full bore against Dexter Poindexter. Well, both these men are risk takers, and both these men rely on their speed and agility so, I mean, like I said, the match is going to favor either one. The question is, who can outsmart the other? And to be honest with you, it isn't hard to outsmart either one. In fact, you know what?
Just the other day I heard, what's long and hard on Hayden Young? Oh, I don't like where this is going. The third grade. <laughs> that could have been worse. Right hand from Crazy K and a chop as the challenger for the world's television title continues to fire away at the champion on the floor. Now, if this match ends in a count out of any way, shape, form, or fashion, which it won't at this point, Crazy K breaking the count. Slingshotting himself around the ring post with that double boot. Well, we know the count will only go to nine because between the three of them, they can only count to three apiece. Cover two. And only a two count, says referee Harold James. I say he can't make it three. He didn't have to. Hayden Young kicked out. Barely. And now Crazy K taking the offensive against the world's television champion. Now, snap, marrying him out of the corner. And a boot right between the shoulder blades. One, two. Crazy K, who has the experience advantage on the world's television champion, making Young expend energy. But you know, one very other important observation I want to make, you know, we talk about scouting opponents. Crazy K in the scouting actually has the advantage over Hayden Young in this. Hayden Young had to prepare for one of two opponents. Crazy K knew exactly who he was going to have to face at the end of this night had he won his match, which he did. And of course, Hayden Young is the world's television champion. Therefore, well, the sprinkler, courtesy of Crazy K, gets him absolutely nowhere. With that flipping in Zaguri from Hayden Young, Crazy K certainly able to scout Hayden Young. Young is the television champion. Therefore, logically, all of his title defenses are on television. So it's a little easier to get video footage of Young to see exactly what you're up against if you're Crazy K. Shows what you know, they don't have a television in the Crazy K household. And right now, Hayden Young, they're still listening to radio. Well, maybe they could listen to Hayden Young's magic. Right now, Crazy K in that headlock, trying to fight out as he gets back to the vertical base. He does. Oh, fuck! And Hayden Young takes his head off. The champion with the cover, two. And only a two count. But both these men, I mean, this is a younger generation of wrestler here. I mean, both men do have experience, but like I said, both men very young. This is a new generation of wrestlers. There's a new look, a new design, a new method of training. Things are so much more advanced than they were 10, 15, even 20 years ago. And that's what we're seeing here tonight in NWA Anarchy. This right here is the future of professional wrestling. Right now, unfortunately, got to include Kate Young. Hayden Young sends K off to the corner. K catches himself. He is seen on the top rope. Then it caught Hayden Young. He certainly did right in the teeth. Sets him up. Well, he'll match the rest of the They don't have very many teeth either. Oh. Tornado face buster. And then with the Enziguri. Crazy K looking for the cover. Hooks the leg. And only a two count, not able to get all the weight across the shoulders of the world's television champion. And right now, Crazy K going to be the first one to get back up to a vertical base here, obviously on the advantage of the match. But like I said, I mean, you can't count Hayden Young out. I mean, as dumb as he is, I mean, you can't count the man out. I mean, he is the world television champion. And he has taken a ton of punishment in previous matches. And he's taking a ton of punishment as we speak with that stomp across his back. Cover, and again a two count from, from uh, Harold James. Crazy K looking to press his advantage. Looking to go to the high ramp district. And the impressive thing is, this is Crazy K's second match of the evening. And he's looking at Fred as he did in the first. Hayden Young follows him up. German release! Superplex from Hayden Young. And now referee Harold James administering his count 
Should he get to 10 and neither man rise, the match would end in a draw. The world TV title would remain with Hayden Young. You know, I think they should implement a new rule in the world television title division. What is that? The new rule should be you can't win the world television title if your town doesn't have electricity. What? Well, if you don't have electricity, you can't have a television set. If you can't be seen on TV, you shouldn't be the television champion. Do you disagree or agree? I disagree. Hayden Young is, has proven more than once to be an outstanding television champion. And right now, he is proving that those kicks are fairly lethal. So are the kicks of Crazy K, two. And a two count. After that thrust kick from Crazy K. And now the challenger pulls him to his feet. The challenger looking a little frustrated there for just a moment. But I mean, the thing about it, you can't get frustrated because I mean, this is the world television champion. Hayden Young is a great competitor, so you can't get frustrated. You just gotta continue on and hopefully get the better of him. But Hayden Young right now trying to get the better of Crazy K. And a whiplash style slam to. And Hayden Young looking to take control here. Perhaps the punishment accumulation from the match against Poindexter. Off the flying throw. Now this is ended many of a match. He sets up. Crash oh. and burn does the television champion of the world. And you do not see that often. I mean, Hayden Young usually knows when to go for that move right there, the flying squirrel. Usually hits it just right. Wait a minute, crazy Kane, up and over. Hayden Young holds on. One, two. Wait okay, reverses. One, two, three. We've got a new world television champion.